What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. VV Tactical here. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about, uh, well, as you can see, muzzle devices. So really just kind of how to choose them, why you would want them, um, what the purpose would be, so on and so forth. So kind of diving right in, uh, I have a small sample here for you. There's some that are actually on my rifles, which I didn't want to pull off just for the sake of this. Um, and wanted to keep this uh, nice and neat as, as I possibly could. But long story short, so what I've got for you today, talk a little bit about some muzzle devices. What these are really designed for really are, are two primary purposes. Uh, if you don't run one on your gun, um, you know, this could be a, a great addition. Or, you know, if you're just building a gun or, you know, wanting to upgrade, it can make a difference depending upon, you know, what it is that you're, you're trying to do with that specific gun. So most standard rifles or ARs, at least ARs, if, if not uh, anything else, will usually come, and actually I think a, a lot of older military rifles, um, but rifles in general, a lot of times you may see them either come with no uh, muzzle adapter or they might very well come with something like this. This is what we would call a standard A2 or bird cage. You kind of see it, and there's a bird inside of there, so to speak. Um, bird cage adapter, A2. Uh, what this is designed to do along with this one, this is just a different style. Uh, I think this one's actually from Bear Creek Arsenal. This one came from Palmetto State, but they both serve the same purpose. Uh, ultimately, those are designed to mitigate flash. So some people would also call it a flash hider, if you will, um, which is more critical for you know, trying to suppress your flash. You know, and I think that that would be more necessary if you were out in a battlefield, uh, possibly for military or police, uh, Leos. Etc. So on and so forth. Uh, the other alternative, if you don't run again, you know, on a, a muzzle device on your your gun, aside from the flash hider option, would be a compensator. And so the compensators, they actually come in really two different flavors, if you will. Uh, this is actually a compensator here. Most compensators that you'll see will usually have cutouts or slots, if you will, on the sides. And so they're indexed, or when when you actually index it, which basically means you're adjusting this. So if you look here, you can see that this actually has ports and then the bottom side is actually all filled in. So there's a indexing or basically the way you actually align this with the rifle and then what direction it faces, so on and so forth. And the reason why that's important is on a compensator when it has those cutouts like that, usually those ports will face um, horizontally. And what happens is when you shoot the gun, the gases will actually expand after the bullet travels out of the, the end of the compensator. The gases will actually come out of the sides. And that's actually a very, very handy tool if you have a, a particularly a heavy caliber, like a 338 Lapua, 308, 3030, 30 06, 65 Creedmoor, so on and so forth. The list goes on and on. But the point with that is that it actually takes all of those gases and blows it out to the side. And so what that does essentially is reduce recoil. So that's a huge benefit. In some cases, I think it can be reduced up to 50%. I, I was reading somewhere. Um, the downfall to that is that with respect to the compensators, especially the ones that shoot the gases out to the side, even on the smaller 223 calibers uh, versus, you know, something even larger like a 450 Bushmaster or, again, anything else of, the, of that caliber, when you get those those again, well, regardless, either one, whether it's a small caliber or even something massive, you're going to get port noise. Um, and the port noise is extremely loud. So if you've ever been near anybody that's shooting an AR, even just with a flash or a regular flash hider or flash suppressor, if you want to call it that, or birdcage or A2 flash hider, um, those are usually relatively, when I say relatively quiet, that's still loud. It's a rifle, right? But with respect to that, when you put on a Forgot my train of thought. When you put on a uh, compensator, it makes it seem that much louder. The concussion is so loud. Um, outdoors, not terrible. It's still not great. Indoors is much, much worse. So again, depending upon what you're trying to do with the rifle or what you're wanting it to do in terms of upgrades. So if you have a regular, you know, again, flash hider or something like this, uh, you know, that came from the factory uh, or something that you had ordered, you know, that'll definitely, like I said, mitigate flash. So as far as the, the report on uh, that flash at the end of your barrel, the downfall, again, you know, going to the compensator if you're trying to reduce recoil and that, that felt kick because ultimately you're, you're wanting to, again, reduce as much of that gas so you're not getting that pushback from the rifle. These are, you know, like I said, compensators are, are a great choice for that purpose. 
Um, but the other side of it too, depending upon the type of rifle that you have, uh, I actually opted for this one. So this is gonna be going into the 6.5 Grendel. This is actually, I believe made for a 6.5 Creedmoor, um, 30 caliber gun. Anyway, it'll still, it'll still work for the 6.5 Grendel. But what's interesting about this is you see there's actually no side cutouts on it. So the reason for that, this is still a compensator, but as you notice, you know, aside from the actual main hole for the, the bullet to drive all out of, there's little holes here. And so those are a port, and this is what we would call a linear compensator. And the difference is, is this actually directs all of the sound forward. So I actually do like uh, and enjoy my hearing. And given the fact that the 6.5 Grendel is not a very heavy recoiling round anyways, and I have a heavy gun, I decided to opt for this route to send that noise downrange and away from me. Um, prior to me, of course, actually getting a suppressor or anything else of that sort. But linear compensator is really cool. Again, you know, if you have a lighter recoiling rifle and you don't want all of that sound coming around you or pestering your uh, fellow shooters or your, your, your buddies, to say the least, uh, the, the linear compensator can definitely make a very big difference. Because, again, it's going to throw all of that sound downrange as opposed to out the sides and then, again, towards other shooters or nearby, uh, nearby folks. So long story short, hopefully uh, this informational session was helpful for you. Appreciate you stopping by as always. You know, if you like my content, please help support my channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you, Alexa. And uh, as always, be safe, stay vigilant, have a great day, and follow me on Instagram if you like to get uh, first updates as new material gets released. Thank you so much.